Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video we're going to be going over day 5 of server vs server, the hatching troops day. Um, before we get into it I want to say two things. First off, the drawing ends this Friday uh, for the 400 subscriber $20 Google Play giveaway. Make sure you find that video and leave the appropriate comment in the comments section. And number two, uh, a little bit of self-bragging. I got T9 troops recently, and with the T9 troops, I'm finally able to solo a level 30 lizard. So I was able to do that. Um, as you can see, it was a 9-star insect, but for those curious, with T9 carriers, Golden Armor, Golden Sugar, Jack Jumper, all of them maxed, of course, you guys. Um, and then, yeah, that's everything. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, for those curious, I was a cultivator during that. I just swapped to raider here. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So for Strongest Warzone, like always, we're going to go to the server server. Then we're going to click this I right here. Then we're going to click check, right? Day 5, Hatch Soldier Ants. Conveniently enough, that's what I choose to do on Saturdays. And I will be explaining that in my next video when we go over Saturdays. Uh, but! Uh, so how to get points hatching soldier ants uh, Different T levels give you different points. That makes sense, right? Uh, enhancing soldier ants different level of enhancement that makes sense because it costs more honeydew um, Mutate one soldier with a difference of one level uh, That makes sense. It gives you points for even mutating. So when I made T9 last week I mutated all of my T8s to T9s, and that's what I did for the uh, both Friday and Saturday. So now all my troops are T9 that are carriers. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about how I prep for this day. Uh, I prep for this day by starting my barracks up. Uh, I do do a round of all of them. I actually do two rounds. The reason I do that is because you need 5,000 of each, and for the battle pass right your day five for this little force of nature thing day five you can't see right now but day five would be hatch uh 5, guardian hatch 5000 shooter 5000 carrier so i do hatch uh some of each and then when these ones finish i'll hatch another batch for saturday it's just what i do it's super easy i start them sometime on thursday and then i don't collect them Right, so you, you get points for collecting uh, for server server. I don't collect them until the appropriate time. Uh, and then carriers I would have started by now, but I'm going to be working on the Urchin Special Ant uh, as I recommend. I, I'm going to be working on the Urchin Special Ant Skill 5 today, so that's why I'm not doing it right now. Uh, with that said, uh, the only thing really left... To talk about is what I do besides how I prep is uh, I try not to use diamonds I did use diamonds today uh, this time to work on evolutions um, my advanced combat wasn't nearly as far as it should have been uh, and I want to try and get t10s or at least unlock t10s for you guys in order to show you guys what's going to be required so I'm at 56 percent uh, it's probably going to take me another two maybe three weeks Hopefully, once I get YouTube sponsorship, uh, which requires a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours watched, uh, I'll be able to pump out more information, more data faster. But I'm working within my own personal means right now to sh show you guys what I have. So, uh, advanced combat's 56%. It is what it is, you guys. I'll get there when I can. Um, yeah. So the last thing I really want to talk about for this is colony actions. Colony actions on Fridays, every single solitary hour, you have some way to earn points for hatching soldiers. So, um, the ones, like, if you're like, I can only complete one or two, the two that I would complete are the ones at 0500 UTC and 0600 UTC. And I would pop a raspberry at, like, 0545 UTC and do this one and this one. These are the easiest CAs to get done if you are Queen tw uh, 19 or higher with T7 troops. These ones right here, uh, where you hatch, have to hatch those troops. Same with these ones. I don't go over, so for me, uh, based off of my cap of my troops, 
I need to hatch four batches and then 2,067 uh, troops on top of that. Uh, so that's... <laughs> yes, I calculated it. Uh, that's what I do, you guys. That's how I figure it out. That's the best way for me in order to earn maximum amount of points, minimum amount of uh, investment. These CAs I recommend doing on every day once you have T8s. You're essentially converting sand and leaves into soil meat sand leaves uh, via speed ups. Um, so I actually net resources um, right now and I'll even net more once Urchin Ant skill 5 is unlocked uh, during those CAs. And that's when I'll also collect my Guardian and Shooter Ants, you guys. So that'll be easy points for those CAs. Um, I do do raspberries on these CAs. I don't do every CA. There's no point. There's too many. I mean, that that would be 12 raspberries uh, right after doing Thursdays, raspberries days. So I do I do a couple of them. I definitely try and do these ones during my waking hours um, because they're the easiest. And sometimes, you guys, even if I run out of raspberries, I'll do these two for sure. Uh, just because it's such good points for uh, my own personal thing. All right, guys. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is what I do on this day. So I hatch this day as much as possible. Um, I hatch, and then throughout the week, I'm enhancing. Uh, the only time I would not be hatching and I would be enhancing is uh, on Saturdays, I do enhancing, and then throughout the week, I'm enhancing nonstop. The reason I do it in this order is because uh, it it's not worth as many points to enhance. So if I have a CA throughout the week that says use one minute of any speed up and I'm running short on X, Y, or Z or use one minute of speed up while hatching soldier ants, it counts when doing these ones. So that's how I'll get these ones uh, done if I need to finish a CA throughout the week. But I typically, as you guys can see, don't enhance throughout the week. Uh, they did fix the bug with troop soldier cost. So just a fair heads up, right? You do have soldier cost and it is pretty high, um, which is good. Uh, it's a mechanic that was not working properly in the game that they were able to fix. So I think that that's a, a is good, but I want to bring attention to it. You will be negative. Uh, how to beat that super easy uh you're just gonna maintain at queen 25 less than a million resources uh of leaves or meat and you can see that by just collecting or uh, clicking the supply on the resource transport here and it says or sorry the upgrade and it says your emergency meat and your or yeah your emergency meat is 900,000. so my supply can be 900,000 or less, and I will not lose any resources. If you're ever curious how that's calculated, you guys, just click on here and then click the info. So my consumption is 0 0.12 uh, based off of my troops. And then I have a reduction from my special ant Archerous Glider. Uh, I redu reduce plant cost by 22.5% on consumption. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. It seems pretty straightforward, pretty quick. Uh, I will be doing a video Sunday uh, to cover all of the things that we've learned first week of the two new buildings. Um, I'll try and get that all in one video. If you guys have any questions about them, if you're concerned, it, just feel free to message me on Discord or leave a comment in the description below if you think that video should come out sooner. I was just trying to wait and see if I can get the final information for Insect Day before I release a second and final wrap-up video for the cell update. All right, you guys. As always, you can find me in the YouTube comments below. Best location to find me is on Discord. Or, worst case scenario, you guys can catch me on server 174, y'all. As always, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Until next time, y'all. Bye.